Hey guys, it's Jenny. So for today's video I thought I would do a January favourites and this is actually the first favourites video that I have done. I don't know why I have not done one before. I think because I just don't really try out many new products and I feel like if I did do them every month then it would be the same products in the video. So for that reason um, I'm not going to do them at the end of every month. I'll just do them every now and again when I feel like I want to share with you guys what I've been loving if I've been trying out a load of new stuff. So yeah, I've got a load of beauty stuff and a few random favourites as well. Yeah, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the button is down below somewhere. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So starting off with beauty favourites, I'm going to start off with a brush and this is by Eco Tools. I got it like last weekend I think and I don't actually know what this is called because it doesn't say on it but I want to say it's like their buffing brush but I'm not really sure. Um, but I was in the need of a new foundation brush because the one um, I have been using for so 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 long is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I do like that but I just really want to try out some new foundation brushes so I picked this one up and I think it was $9.99 so really affordable and I really really love this it's so soft and it's also pretty dense but it's not too dense um, because when I like look for foundation brushes I want them to be quite dense that's just what I like and this is dense it's also really dirty because I've washed it I need to wash it tonight um, but yeah I really really like this it really blends out my foundation really nicely um, so I really recommend this um, foundation brush if you're in the need of a new one. So next I have a primer and this is the Benefit the Professional Primer and I'm sure you've heard everybody talk about this. I love this. I didn't used to like it when I first got it. I think I've had, I don't know how long I've been using it, like a year or something like that, I don't even know. Um, and yeah, I didn't really used to like it, didn't really know what like understand what all the hype was about because I mean it was good but it wasn't like amazing so I kind of stopped using it and was using other ones but recently I've gone back to it and I really really love it it's I use it on my nose like around here because um, that's where I have like the most pores and it makes your skin so like smooth so much smoother and foundation just goes on so much nicer when I use it and I've actually run out of the full size which is a pain because it is pretty expensive um, so I actually bought just one of the mini ones for like £10 but I probably will have to get the full size again but yes I have been loving this so next up is a concealer and again this is probably one you've heard everybody talk about especially the British YouTubers. It is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is the best drugstore concealer ever. It's I think it's like something like £4.19 or something like that. You can get it from Boots and Superdrug and it's just amazing. I have mine in the lightest shade which is Fair. Um, which they never have this in stock in like any of my boots or soup jugs so it's really annoying so when they get it I like stock up on it but yeah I love this I use this under my eyes and on any like blemishes and I absolutely love it it blends really nicely it covers so much which is crazy for something so cheap you wouldn't really think it would like cover much but it honestly does yeah I'm sure you're all using this but if you haven't tried it out and you can get a collection um, where you live if you don't live in England then definitely check it out because it's amazing so next I have a foundation that's my dogs sorry if you can hear them 
So the foundation I've been loving this month is the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation, which is the longest name. Um, but I've had this for so long, I can't even remember how long, a good, good few months, or maybe in like the summer I bought it, or even before that, I don't even know. Um, and I kind of like go on and off using it because I do have other foundations. But this is probably my go-to foundation that I use all the time when I know when I like want foundation that I know is gonna stay, I know it's gonna look good, blend nicely and everything, I will go for this one. I have the shade Warm Almond, in case you're wondering. And I just, I love this, it's so good. It's actually run out, which is really upsetting. I have to go buy a new one. I think it's like, it's either 10.99 or 11.99, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, love, love, love this. It just, it's not a full matte finish, but then it's not dewy. So it's like, in the middle, it's a very natural finish. It blends really nicely and I love the coverage. I do one full layer and then I'll dot on um, a bit more, um, mainly on my cheeks where I need it. And it doesn't get cakey or anything, it stays put all day. I'm wearing it now, I've, um, it's half past four right now and I have had this on since like 10 o'clock so, and it's still doing good. So <laughs> yeah, really love this. If you want a new foundation, or if you just want to try it out, go and get it, it's amazing. So the next thing I've been loving is the Soap & Glory Glow All Out Face Powder. And mine is very well loved, I've had it for such a long time and I kind of like go on and off using it. Um, but recently I have been absolutely loving it because I've really been into having like a really highlighted face and this I feel is really is a really natural highlight um, so I use this pretty much every day and then like on the weekends when I want or when I want a bit more highlight I'll use something else but yeah it looks like this it's <laughs> so well loved oh my goodness and I just put it pretty much all over my face <laughs> no I put it on my cheekbones and on my nose and my cupid bow Cupid's bow and yeah I love it. I don't know how much it was because I have bought I bought it a very long time ago um, but they do still have it. It's really good, I love it. <laughs> so my final makeup favourite is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush palette. I mentioned this in my Makeup Revolution first impressions video so if you haven't seen that I will link it down below and on the screen for you. So the colours I wanted to talk about are these two down here and I have been using these as eyeshadows. So if you saw my previous video which was my everyday makeup routine which I'll also link down below and on the screen. In that video I use them as eyeshadow and all I do is put the matte brown colour in my crease and then this is more of like a kind of dark shimmery gold which is really pretty and I put that all over my lids and it just looks, it's for one it's super um, quick and easy to do and two I really like how it looks for like every day. Um, so yeah, I really really love this palette, it's like £8 or something or £6 and it's really good, the blushes in it are amazing. The only three that I haven't used are these three here. Um, I really need to use them though, but I don't know, they're weird colours so I don't know what to use them for, but I need to have a play around with the rest of them. That's my last makeup favourite. So moving on to like skincare I guess, um, I have been loving the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, this is just the original one, I don't know what other kinds there are. bought this probably probably like a week and a half ago or something and I have used it every day since. I love it. All it is is just a like super intensive moisturiser so it's like more of a gel which was really weird when I first used it. I thought it was like the wrong one because it's not a cream at all. It's really weird 
the like the texture of it but yeah it's a gel not a cream um, but I just love this I'm not too keen on the smell because it um, smells like Turkish delights to me a bit chemically so yeah it doesn't really smell very nice um, but I'm pretty sure you can get like an unfragranced one um, so if you you know if you're sensitive to fragrance then I'm pretty sure they do one without the fragrance in. I use this um, at night time under my eyes mainly in like the inner corner and the outer corner to just because I find my outer corners especially are kind of dry which is really weird and mainly my lips it's like the best lip balm ever so yeah I highly recommend this so now moving on to fashion favorites I have two fashion favorites for this month the first one is this scarf um, it's kind of like a blanket scarf that's how wide it is and it's super long as well and this is from Urban Outfitters I got it for Christmas um, it was in the sale when I got it so I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore um, but they do a ton similar but I love the colours of this it's just like a deep burgundy red and black with kind of like I don't know like geometric patterns I guess I don't really know um, and then the ends are just like fringed frayed like this and I just love this I was the reason I asked for this for Christmas because I really wanted like a big scarf because I have some other scarves back here um, which I never actually wear because they're quite small they're quite short so I really wanted a big one and I love it it's honestly my favourite thing <laughs> so then my last fashion favourite is this jacket this is just a black denim jacket with like sheepskin in, in lining in the middle and it's from Topshop and I've had this for quite a while now I think I got it in like September October last year this month I've really been loving it usually I will stick with my big coat that I know it's gonna keep me really really warm but I kind of I kind of got bored of wearing it now to college so I like wearing this and yeah this looks so nice over like dresses with that scarf over shorts and a top or even like jeans and a top it just looks nice with everything and I really like the lining in it so it does keep you a bit warmer than just a normal denim jacket and yeah I love this so moving on to like random bits and bobs I have a food favorite and these are the naked gingerbread um, bars I have a huge box of them I got them off Amazon this is like a box of 18 I think it was like nine pounds um, because I wanted to buy them in bulk so I'd have loads to take to college and stuff for snacks the bars just look like this and they are gluten wheat and dairy free and all that's in it is dates almonds pecans ginger cloves and cinnamon that's it so they're completely raw they're really really um, good for you they're super tasty and if you don't like the gingerbread ones then they do load of other flavours they do like a chocolate one banana bread berries just like so many uh, so definitely check these out I love them the gingerbread one are so so nice I highly recommend these yeah that's it for this video that's all my favourites um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment some of your favorites down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next week bye guys